In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between a do-it-yourself carpet repair and a professional carpet repair. Let's start with doing it yourself. You can find this double-sided carpet seam tape made by Roberts at Home Depot. It's basically double-sided sticky tape. You peel off the white paper part and it leaves you with sticky tape. Pretty um, self-explanatory. Now I'm not going to show how to get the carpet ready for the repair because I have other videos showing that, but I will leave a link in the description. So once everything's ready, it's time to stick our tape underneath. You want to cut out as much tape as you need for the areas you're fixing, and it will kind of get stuck to the scissors while you're cutting it. Now this is the part where I think it starts to get annoying. You want to peel off one side of the paper, revealing the sticky side, and then put it under the carpet. Now if you're just dealing with one piece of tape, it wouldn't be that hard, but this stuff really likes to stick to itself if it touches. Here you can see I already messed up and didn't think to remove the white paper part on the side of the tape, so now it's just beginning to be a sticky mess. Alright, so let's try that again. After removing the white paper part from the sides, put the tape under the carpet wherever you need to. and try to keep the fibers from rolling into the tape. That will make the finished repair look as best as it can look. Now this is ready for our replacement piece. Just start in one corner and make sure the back of the carpets are touching and then drop your piece of carpet in slowly, working around the perimeter of the repair. Also make sure to keep any of the carpet fibers up and out of the glue, or else you'll have dips in the carpet afterwards, showing where the repair is. After everything is in place, you don't really need a seam roller to push the carpet into the tape, but it just makes it faster. You can step on the area or push it in with your hands, just need to make sure it's pressed down onto the sticky tape. And that's it, the repair is done. You can trim any strings or fibers sticking up with scissors to complete the repair. I'll do a quick time lapse for the repair in the back. Here you can see it gets a little stuck to the padding, which is fine. Now let's check how strong the repair is. It's stuck enough to where a vacuum won't pull it up, but it's definitely not a long-term fix, especially in an area with a lot of foot traffic. Now I'll show the professional way to do this repair just like I do them every week. I use a cool glide iron, and if you don't know what that is, there are plenty of videos about it online, but I'll leave a link in the description. Now this is cool glide tape, so it's not sticky to the touch. The cool glide iron is used to heat up the tape, making this step much easier. So again, just putting the tape underneath the carpet that I'll be repairing, and then making sure my replacement piece is in place. Now with the tap of a button, this tool stays on for about 10 to 15 seconds and heats the glue on the tape, 
making this one of the best and easiest ways to do these types of repairs. And while that's working, I can go ahead and fit in my piece in the back. After that's done, just move the iron over and repeat until everything is finished. Then just like the other repair, use a seam roller or any kind of weight to push the carpet down into the tape. Now this repair is done. Again, stuck a little to the pad, but that's fine. Now let's check how this professional repair compares to the do-it-yourself repair as far as pulling it out. This repair is not going anywhere. I had to use pliers to pull this repair apart, and even then the back of the carpet was still stuck to the tape. So there you go, a video showing the difference between a do-it-yourself carpet repair and a professional carpet repair. Thanks for watching.